Ah yeah, let me just let me just get legendary real quick before this tier list, so you guys know it's more credible. All right, guys, time for a competitive team touchdown tier list. This time I will not forget any legends. I specifically made sure to check that I have Wukong, Molly, Maya. I have all of them. Don't worry, we're not forgetting anyone this time. As you can see, or as you saw earlier in the video, we got legendary rank today. So let's rank these boys now. Uh, first off, I want to go with my main. The legend which I think got overly buffed is currently probably the best legend ever for competitive. That is Snow. You need like half a brain cell to play him. And he's super rewarding. He has one combo, dude. One combo. X. Pull away with your root. Basic attacks. That's it. That's all you do. You just wait for people to stack up. X. C. Basic attacks. Done. That's it. S tier. Um, next up, let's rank. Uh, let's rank my boy Brick, actually. I used to, I have a few games of Brick this season, this competitive season. I think he's also surprisingly good. His walls are just, they don't expire. He has way too many walls now. Uh, I think Brick is actually between B and A tier. Honestly, with how, with what I've seen so far of Brick, I think Brick is A tier. Solid because of his walls. Very solid because of his walls. Now D, D stands for Ducky, I'm just kidding, this time Ducky with the uh, big old packs, uh, the ones that charge your root completely, I think Ducky is viable, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Ducky is viable, she isn't good, but, but she's not as bad as some other legends, so I think for competitive, Ducky is actually between B and C tier, I wouldn't call her B tier, I wouldn't go that far, but I think Ducky is C tier. She's not the worst. She's not the worst, guys. Alright, next up we have Robin. Robin, I think, is again an S tier champion. Really powerful. Kind of hard to play, to be honest. Not, not all that easy, but you need a few games and you should be good to go with him. So I go with S tier for Robin. Um, now, who else? Peter, dude, I used to be, when back when Dominion or competitive was Dominion mode, I used to main Peter, uh, Peter and Nui, as you guys might know. Now, I don't think he is good at all. He's not on Ducky's level, but he's definitely, he went from A tier for me to B tier currently. And it's kind of sad because he was my favorite legend, I think. All right, now let's see. Let's rate Maya. Maya is surprisingly fast and surprisingly annoying. Uh, Maya, I think, is a solid A tier from what I've seen so far from the other players and from my own experience with her. Rapunzel. Rapunzel is probably one of the most un er, underused legends. Yet she has a lot of potential. She's not S tier, I don't think. But she's between B and A tier. M depends on how you play her. But I think she... Honestly, I think I would rate her A tier. I've not seen many bad people. Maybe like one or two bad Rapunzel's. But I think she has the potential to be... In most cases to be A tier. Now... Let's do Octavia. Octavia is a healer, super annoying. She's probably, I think Octavia has become more annoying than Red, and that's saying something. Octavia just pushes you back with her aerial skill. Uh, yeah, honestly, she, she's just super annoying. She's really good at guarding the point. I think Octavia, and with the heals, especially if you have a tank on your team, dude, I think Octavia is A tier. I swear. I swear I think she's A tier. Alright, next up, let's see Zepeta. Oof, Zepeta is a good legend, but I think her skill cap is way too, too big. She's the legend which I cannot play at all. Has been since day, day one. I've tried learning her, didn't work. I don't have the brain capacity for that. 
but I think I've seen one or two good Zepetas in competitive, just one or two. They were absolutely insane, but I could never pull off what they can pull off. Uh, the rest of the Zipetas which I've seen are just completely dog poop, dog water. Uh, oh my god, one dude had to hold the point, right? Had to hold the point before it. Like we were just respawning and they were gonna cap. He had to hold the point, he pressed his ult and he dashed out of the point and we lost because of that. I think Zipeta is has the potential to be good, viable, but she is not amazing. I would rate her about Peter's level, at about le Peter's level. Uh, let's see, Kurenai. Kurenai is another S tier champion, just completely powerful. He's getting a little bit nerfed today, but Jesus, man, still a very, very solid pick for competitive team touchdown. Um, who should we do? Young Young. Young Young, I think, is not good. They tried to balance him. But it's not really all that impressive to me. Young Youngs, don't get me wrong, Young Youngs are annoying generally, but they're not, they don't have much soul carry potential. I would rate Young Young about Ducky's level. Wukong. Wukong is really strong. I, I don't understand. I see a Wukong, I have full HP, one second later, I'm gone. I don't know how that happens. I, I don't understand it. I think Wukong is really strong and kind of underpicked. People used to play him a lot, but then they just stopped for some reason. I think he is A tier. Now, Cindy. Unfortunately, my girl Cindy, it just doesn't feel like she does much damage. Uh, she was... I know how many people simp for her. I know she was like S or A tier for Dominion, but here, right now, Team Touchdown, I think she's between A and B tier, more so le leaning towards B tier, unfortunately. Sorry, but that's how I feel. Uh, Kaiser, Kaiser is my boy. Kaiser is my boy, and he's super powerful on that night map. On that night map, he is insane because if people just go and go for a health pot, you just press your skill and they're off the map. I, I triple killed, uh, well, the enemies and won the game just because of that. They were near the, the pot and I just first killed two players with one skill and then the other player with another skill. So I just pressed two buttons and we won the game. So on that map, he's insanely good. But on other maps, I kind of digressed. On other maps, he is dog water and he just gets combo to infinity. So I think Kaiser is between C and B tier, but more so leaning towards B tier. Viable, viable, but not amazing. Flare, Flare, my girl Flare, annoying chick. Um, really annoying, actually. It depends on what you do with her and if you're so leaning or not. But I think Flair is between B and A tier. Honestly, I would rate her at A tier. I think I think she deserves it. She's kinda she's kinda good, surprisingly. So so far we have these fellas. Okay. Let's see who next. Mastercat. Mastercat is my um second main. Currently, I don't think he's that strong. I think he got way too over nerfed uh, with the previous patches. I think he was S tier before his nerfs, but currently he's standing at A tier. And just lacks something, and I don't know what it is. Um, Jacko, Jacko is really strong. Jacko is really strong. Um, it's not really complicated, surprisingly. I learned that recently. I think he is A tier also. I'm just gonna gonna speed run this. Now Wolfgang, Wolfgang is also strong, especially if he stacks up and he plays um carefully, not passively, carefully. He takes the health packs and makes sure he's healthy. Especially if he stacks up, I think he's very, very good. So not S tier. I don't I don't think so, but A tier solid. Uh, who else? Don? Don? Nah, 
Dawn just isn't it. He can be annoying, but not really mobile, not really well, kind of tanky, but what can you do with that tankiness when your teammates don't deal damage? So I think Dawn is C tier. Uh, Nui. Nui is kind of... I think she's still good. I, at first I thought she was B tier, but then I started playing against some Nui's and then I played Nui myself and I think she's still very much... very much good. Very much good, is that even a thing? She's very good, I think, still. Between B and A tier, but more so leaning towards A tier. Um, red... I wouldn't say she's B tier, she's still freaking obnoxious. Uh, I don't know. So the three, the three more most hated legends currently, or more, most annoying legends, I would say are Octavia, Flare, and Red. And I think they all belong in A tier. There's a reason for them being annoying. Alice, oof. Alice, you really need to think about what people are doing in order to be good with her. I've seen people carry, I've carried also, then I've done completely horribly, horribly with her. I think she... No, I don't think she's A tier. I think she's B tier currently. It's very easy to dodge her ult. And especially because of the S tier champions being extremely mobile, I think that puts her way down. Uh, all right, let's do the D. My D is for Witch Queen. Please don't clip that. I think she's the worst legend for competitive currently. Her auto attacks suck. Her ult sucks. Her passive is good, the one which polymorphs. Her skill sucks. Everything sucks about her. She was a Dominion legend. She is not a Team Touchdown legend. Uh, Hook, Hook is, uh, he's kind of solid, but not, not all that good. I wouldn't rate her A tier, because people are mobile again, and they can very easily gap close, but I think she's B tier, honestly. And you can see a pattern over here, all of the original legends, like Peter, Cindy, Kaiser, Alice, Hook, the OGs, which, the first legends which came out, are low tier. Because they were designed for Dominion. All of the other legends, maybe they already had something in mind as for the mode change, official first or main mode change. And then they started balancing it and making them, creating them around that. So I think Hook is a uh, bit here. Gaudi is a good legend. Um, Gaudis can really sustain and can take. I've seen some 1v3, 1v5 even. So Gaudis, I think, are generally A tier. Oh, sorry. Ravi, dude, I wouldn't say he's good. Just because people have learned how to avoid his ult, they know how long it takes to stack up and then they just dodge it. Uh, he is between B and A tier. But I would say he is... I don't think he's as bad as the legends over here. So I think he, is, has, he has more dual potential. So I would rate him. Eight tier. Mowgli, Molly. Molly is strong. Molly is strong. Yes, grape. Uh, not B tier. Not C tier. She's A tier. And Rambert. Rambert, I don't think is bad. Grin, I'm looking at you. I don't think he's bad. I think he deals way too much damage when he's close to you. I would rate him. Um. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think he's good. I think he's a tier here. So yeah, guys, this is this is my rating. Snow Robin Kurenai S tier, A tier, of these fellas. B tier, mainly the the first created legends. C Ducky Young Young Don and D my D is for Witch Queen. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.